Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Cone Health and today's Annie Penn Hospital. So advanced is so close to home. ConeHealth.com. Reedsville police have arrested a teenager in connection with two homicides. The name of the suspect, 17, is not being released. The first homicide occurred October 22nd at Sneed and Benson Streets. The victim, Alan Michael Johnson IV, 21, of Greensboro. The second was December 30th at Graves and Moore Streets. The victim, Felix Van Story, 39, of Brown Summit. Investigation continues. Additional arrests are expected. Cone Health has issued a warning. It will run out of hospital beds by January 21st if COVID trends continue at the current level. Cone has 924 staffed beds in its entire system. Moses Cone and Wesley Law in Greensboro, Annie Penn, Reedsville, Alamance Regional, Burlington. By the end of April, there could be a shortfall of 454 beds after 755 COVID patients and 169 other patients are hospitalized. Projections are being posted at conehealth.com beginning today. The Rockingham County Sheriff's Office has issued a wanted bulletin for Ronnie Allen Davis on outstanding warrants in connection with a sexual assault investigation. Anyone with information on Ronnie Allen Davis is asked to call the Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. Greensboro set a new record in 2020 for homicides. There were 61. That's an increase of 16 from the previous year. The number of aggravated assaults increased 8%. The number of assaults with firearms increased 17%. Today is a deadline to pay your county property taxes. Payments can be placed in the outside drop box, online, and made on the phone. Payments must be postmarked before January 6th to avoid interest. Stoneville Town Council has a virtual meeting tonight at 7 On the agenda, audit report, town medical services, public works building, Stoneville Youth Council, vision retreat, and social media outreach. I'll have a report tomorrow. The board will meet in a special executive session at 5 to to discuss a personnel matter. We haven't heard much about the flu this season. Deaths in the state are down 89%, according to one report thanks to coronavirus prevention efforts, including wearing face masks, social distancing, and better hand-washing practices. Some doctors say it's one of the calmest flu seasons they've seen. Happy New Year from Lane's Family Pharmacy. They still have free calendars. Stop by Lane's on NC14 in Eden and pick one up. Countywide delivery from Lane's Family Pharmacy is a phone call away, 336-627-4600, 627-4600. Call anytime for refills. They also have a big selection of durable home medical equipment and supplies and longtime employees who know their products and it can assist you and answer any questions. Lane's Family Pharmacy, glad to be a part of your family. 336-627-4600. Rockingham County weather today, a mix of sun and clouds. Tomorrow, sunny, high 50, low in the mid-20s. That's for today and tomorrow. Thursday, mostly sunny, high 47. Friday, a 60% chance of a winter mix, high 37. For the weekend, sunny to mostly sunny, high 45. 28 degrees at Shiloh Airport this morning at 6.30. Get current weather information anytime at MikeMoore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream weather camera, sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers, for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Need a tow? Dave's Towing is a call away 24 hours a day. Here's a number, 336 932 Seventy-four, seventy-eight. Happy New Year. We wave goodbye to the old 
and embrace the new with hope, dreams, and ambition. This message from Senator Phil Berger, Madison Rockingham Rescue Squad, Tire Max, Pizza Hut, Wilkerson Funeral Home, Flynn Furniture and Mattress Gallery, Boone and Cook Funeral Home and Crematory, Rockingham County Tennis Association, First Baptist Church in Madison, All About Floors, Ray Funeral Home, Good Smiles, Ferguson Stump Grinding, Western Rockingham Chamber of Commerce, Night Owl National Stoneworks. From all of these businesses and individuals, again, all the best to you in 2021. Now, today's Sports Minute. AutomotiveMap.com presents the Sports Flash on Mike Moore Media. NBA on Monday, the Sixers 118-101 over the Hornets. Charlotte drops to 2-5, and 1-3 one and three away from home. Gordon Hayward with 18 points in the losing effort. The Hawks came up short 113-108 at home against the Knicks. Atlanta 4-3 and three on the season. Trey Young with 31 points in the loss. Men's college basketball, Campbell with a 70-61 victory at Gardner-Webb. The Camels are 5-5 five and five with the win. Winthrop over Charleston Southern 85-69. USC Upstate beat Longwood 71-69. On the schedule Tonight, number 19, Clemson hosts NC State. The Tar Heels take on Miami. Campbell and Gardner-Webb go at it again. Same with Winthrop and Charleston Southern, Longwood, and USC Upstate. Just about a week away from the start of the NHL season, the puck drops Wednesday the 13th. This update brought to you by the Score app. Download the free Score app today. It's one of the most popular sports apps in North America. That's the Sports Flash, Chuck Sanders, Mike Moore Media. If you have Spectrum, you have the Rockingham County Government Channel, 1304. It's filled with important county programming 24-7. Spectrum Channel, 1304, Rockingham County Television. Happy New Year from Rockingham County Government. Now we'll check on the community calendar, sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden, granite, quartz, and marble for commercial and residential on Facebook at Night Owl National Stoneworks. Free tennis clinics this month at Western Rockingham YMCA, South 5th Avenue, Medan, Saturdays, January 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th. Middle school, 9 to 1030. High school, 1030 to 12. Limited to 12 players in each clinic. Sponsored by Rockingham County Tennis Association. Online classes at Rockingham Community College begin January 11th. 100% graduate degree programs, 24-7 support, no set login times. Apply now. Brunswick Stew at the Dan Valley Community Center, May it end. Kenneth Cook, uh, Kenneth Allen is the cook, Saturday, January 16th, it's $6 a quart. It's a fundraiser for the Madison Mayadan Recreation Center. This year, the annual Martin Luther King celebration in Reedsville will be live-streamed Monday, January 18th at 9. The event recognizes Rockingham County citizens for their community service and provide scholarships for students at Reedsville High School and Rockingham Community College. Now today's Consumer Report. Economists say the winter of 2021 will be a tough time for both businesses and consumers before things begin to rebound in the spring. They cite a continuing surge in coronavirus cases, resulting in new restrictions on businesses and a resulting increase in the nation's unemployment rate. A report by the Wall Street Journal predicts commuting to work will be less stressful and a lot faster as the coronavirus pandemic eases. It cites researchers at Texas A&M, whose models show a sizable portion of the workforce will continue working remotely, reducing the number of cars on the road. President-elect Biden says he will propose changes to how credit scores are formulated. Under the proposal, the administration will establish a government-run credit agency that will use different methods to develop consumers' credit scores in a way that is more transparent. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Today is National Bird Day. Oh, that reminds me. I need to refill my uh, bird uh, bird feed. Uh, I've got to put some seeds out there today. It's National Whipped Cream Day. Today in history, January 5th, 1914, Ford Motor Company announced a new daily minimum wage, $5 and an eight-hour workday. 
1933, construction started on the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. In TV land, this show premiered today in 1961, first in syndication and then on CBS. Hello, I'm Mr. Red. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course, that is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. Red. Go right to the source and ask the horse, he'll give you the answer that you endorse. He's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. Red. People yakety yak a streak and waste your time a day. But Mr. Ed will never speak unless he has something to say. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and this one will talk to his voice is horse. You never heard of a talking horse? Well, listen to this. I am Mr. Ed. Oh, they don't make them like that anymore. Uh, that show ran for six years, 143 episodes. Alan Rocky Lane was Mr. Ed's voice, his friend played by Alan Young. A little TV trivia, Mr. Ed's real name, Bamboo Harvester. Big name birthdays today, Bradley Cooper, 46, Marilyn Manson, 52, Diane Keaton, 75, Robert Duvall, 90, and Walter Mondale, 93. Now to the birthday club. Couple of names today. Happy birthday to Greg Moore and Joe C. Smith. Happy birthday, Joe and Greg. Let me know about upcoming birthdays. Go ahead and get all your names in for January. Text them anytime to 336-932-1881. 932-1881 for the birthday club. Just started that up here in the new year with a weekly prize package, a $50 value, a little bit more than $50, actually, giveaways from Vernon Family Dairy, Wendy's, Carolina Fuels, That Little Pork Shop, Ingrid's Cupcakes and Confections, and Pizza Hut. Now, here's how it works. We start the week on Monday with Sunday and Monday birthdays. Then I'll announce them all during the week on this program. Then on Friday, Friday and Saturday, so that way we cover all seven days. Then I'll have a drawing at the end of the week with all the names. And the winner gets a prize package. I'll be mailing that out to our birthday club winner. Again, the giveaways from Pizza Hut, Ingrid's Cupcakes and Confections, That Little Pork Shop, Carolina Fuels, Wendy's, and Vernon Family Dairy. Happy New Year. We're wishing you health, wealth, and happiness. A message from Randy's Body Shop, Charlie Hall, Chairman of the Rockingham County Board of Commissioners, Colonial Funeral Home and Stokes Chapel, Sharon Baptist Church, Wright Memorial Event Center, RiseUpReadsville.com, A New Dawn Realty, Perry Spencer Funeral Home, Carpino Investments, Tiano's Pizza, Den River Insurance Services, Fair Funeral Home, Stokes County Arts Council, Madison Dry Goods Country Store and Museum, and Rockingham County Government. Thanks for listening to the program today. I certainly appreciate that. Hope you have a terrific Tuesday. Let's finish with our motivational moment. A wise man should have money in his head, not in his heart. Again, I appreciate you listening, and we'll be back with you tomorrow, I hope, for another edition of Rockingham County Today. I remind you, as always, to count your blessings.